Hello everyone and welcome back again to our channel. Now for today's video, I'm going to be recreating a look that I always see in the television from this woman who inspires me so much to be just better and be the best that I can every day. Her name is Miss Jodi Santa Maria. She is a Filipina actress. Pardon the dog noise from the background. She's got this ongoing TV drama show um, during the noon at noon time in the Philippines called Sana Dalawa Ang Pusuko. In English, if I only have two hearts, something along those lines. That's kind of the thought of it. Anyways, I love this look that she. I don't know who her makeup artist is. I've actually spent an hour on Instagram today just looking for that makeup artist that does her makeup on that show, but I just can't find her. But if you happen to know her, please comment down below because I really, really want to follow her. She's mom. She's got this copper, always cat eye sexy look that she has on that show. This kind of orangey, pinkish, copper look on her eyes. And she's always got that tiny little wing right there. Although she already has those cut eyes that is just adorable. It's so beautiful. And then that really, really defined contour. I love her so much. As you can tell, I can't stop talking about her. Anyway, that's the look that I'm recreating right now. Um, her sig For me, her signature look and one of my favorite looks on her. So yeah, if you want to know how to get this look that I have right here and how... How was I able to manage to do this Baba Boom look right here, like a full shebang look with this little baby right here on the side? Just keep on watching. Pardon the messy hair, it'll be okay later on. So I'm going to prime my eyes using the concealer, Total Coverage Concealer from BH. Cosmetics, this is in the shade 106. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, I'm gonna use that as my eye primer. To be honest, this is the first time I've tried it and I am in love so far because look at the coverage that it gives you. I'm just gonna set that with this little gala heel. I don't know if Morphe changed their formula when they changed the packaging because it seems like the consistency of the matte colors now are kind of powdery. I don't remember ever having that as a problem to my other former palettes. It's a story that never ends. People always try to fix things that's not broken and things that are broken they don't want to fix. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get this little guy right here. I don't know what's the name of this, but it's this peachy one. This is from the Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions little palette. And then I'm gonna use that as my transition color. As you notice, Miss Jodi Santa Maria's eye looks all the time. It's always kind of rounded, but she would always have that little tiny wing because she already got that cat eye natural look about her. Next is I'm gonna get this little gal right here and I'm gonna get a much tapered brush. This is the Morphe Y15. As small as these palettes are, it's freaking expensive. I think one palette costs like $35. Next is I'm gonna get my 15 at Night Master palette again. Um, and then I'm gonna get this little guy right here, Shook. And I'm just gonna concentrate that even more to our crease. Oh. What is it? We got a visitor! Ta-da! Say hi! <laughs> As you can kind of notice the technique that I'm doing, I'm mainly concentrating the Shook shade right there here and then when there's not much product on my brush i start to drag it to my entire crease next is i'm gonna get editorial right here can you see that and i'm gonna get this crown pro crown brush c513 and then i'm gonna concentrate it again in here defining that even more and then slowly dragging it there that looks awesome. Next is I'm gonna get this little guy right here and I'm just gonna blend that using the brush that we used for the Shook eyeshadow. Blend it even more. Back to that Nine Master palette. We're gonna take that creativity shade right there. Apply that all over our lids. And just blend everything out. 
So next is we're gonna create a wing. It's been a long time since I applied wings, so pardon me. Next is I'm gonna apply some lassies. Then let's apply some mascara. After that, we're gonna, of course, wipe our skin with some wipes. Next is I'm gonna prime my face with this Professional by Benefit. It's amazing how this primer just makes everything so smooth. Next is I'm gonna use this LA Girl Pro Matte right here in the shade Light Tan. I'm gonna use my Real Techniques stippling brush. Next is the oh, oh gosh. This is not going so well, huh? That is a lot of concealer. Look how pretty the coverage is. It's amazing how pretty the coverage is. I'm gonna set my face concealer, I mean, with this Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in Lace. This has been my setting powder for a long time now. I don't know why, I just can't stop using it. I have the banana one also from the same brand and that one is bomb as well. Next is this little guy right here. Of course, this is my Ride or Die finishing powder. It just gives you that beautiful bronze look in the most subtle and natural way. Next is I'm gonna bronze up using this MAC Give Me Sun Mineralized Skin Finish Powder using my Morphe R2. Since Miss Jodi has that very contoured face, we're actually gonna be baking our contour later on. Next is I'm gonna use this Pure Mineral Glow Bronzing Powder. And I'm gonna use this to contour our face. And I'm using a Colourpop brush. I think this is their contour brush, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, next is we're gonna be cutting our contour. She's really enjoying herself. I don't know what I did to deserve this behaviness from her, but for blush, I'm gonna use this Milani Berry Amore Baked Powder Blush, number three. For highlight, I'm gonna use this Cougar Diamond Kiss highlighter next is I'm gonna get this one right here and then this and then this then I'm gonna get that editorial right there unfortunately Olivia's patience ran out so here we are again. Next is I'm gonna try to apply mascara without messing everything up. <laughs> Good luck with me. Okay, I was able to do it without creating any further damage. Okay, last but not the least is the lipstick part, which is pretty much easy. So I'm gonna, we gotta do some highlighting first on our eyes. I'm gonna take this unique color right here from my master palette. So bomb. And then on my brow bone too. So next is I'm gonna get this next. This one is in the shade natural since Miss Jody always has that natural lip clock color. Sometimes she wears red, but for the most part of the show, she likes nude, actually glossy nude. 
Then I'm gonna get this Fenty gloss bomb right here. I'm gonna set my face using this Morphe setting spray right here. enjoyed this video as much as I did Olivia was so so good today to me thank you boo boo um I love this look it's so sexy it's so like I don't even know what that means but it just looks so sexy and just prim and prom like I feel like I'm that bitch who sits behavely crossed legs with her hands on her lap you know <laughs> If you did like this look, please comment down below and please recreate this look. I love seeing your tags. Tag me on Instagram and on Facebook and don't forget to follow my Facebook page that is Leangel XOXO, no space. Tag me there, tag that page and I will definitely check them out and I will actually repost from now on. Repost stuff that you guys would recreate and do as well on my page. So if you want to get featured on my page, I would really, really love to see your work and to post it there so I can share it to the world how amazing my subscribers are. <laughs> I have my personal Facebook account as well, Leanne Jarrell, and my Instagram account, Leanne Jarrell. And lastly, say bye-bye to them, Olivia. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and me and Olivia will see you on our next video. Bye!